Hi guys, so today we are going to be doing Cha Ching number 98. I'm a little bit behind um, with posting a Cha Ching this week, so I do apologize. Um, before I start, I do want to mention three things. Um, first thing being, um, I just wanted to again thank everyone for wishing Eric a happy birthday. Um, I did post on my community tab, and I just wanted to let you know all the hearts that he... Um, sent as far as you know being under my name that was him it wasn't me he went in and he personally read all of them and hearted them so i just wanted to make that clear um and also i also wanted to um just give like a little shout out thank you i had gotten a little thank you note in my p.o box um i had a subscriber actually purchase something um to give as a gift and then he actually sent me a thank you card back which was so sweet so I just wanted to not only thank you guys who are subscribers of mine who have purchased from me, um, but also anyone who ever sends anything to my P.O. box. I occasionally get things in my P.O. box, just like um, little cards and stuff like that, little letters and, you know, thank you notes. And I just wanted to make mention that I do receive them and I am grateful for you guys and thankful for your correspondences to my P.O. box and you know when you do purchase items it means a lot to me. Um, and then the other thing I just wanted to mention is I know that there's a hurricane coming and I you know I'm not personally you know near it to Florida or anything um, like that but I know there's probably a lot of my subscribers who are so I just wanted to say that I'm thinking of you guys and hope that everyone is staying safe um, but that is pretty much uh, the three things that I just kind of wanted to make note of uh, before I start this cha-ching we are getting so close to that 100th cha-ching and I am getting so close to hitting my 20,000 subscriber um, mark. So just I just want to thank everyone for sticking by me and watching my videos and commenting on my videos. Um, that's like a really big part of YouTube and their algorithms is when you know you like videos and you comment on videos and you know you watch a video the whole way through. Um, those that helps get your videos out there to be seen by more people um you know the more interaction your videos get with likes and comments and um views and stuff like that so um i'm just really thankful for everyone who takes the time to um like my videos and comment on them and you know watch them from the beginning to the end so let's just start with this cha-ching number 98 our first item is an avon item <laughs> guys i like selling avon Call me a weirdo, but I have made a lot of money on Avon items throughout the years. Uh, this was for an Avon men's cologne called Ferraud, Ferraud, F-E-R-A-U-D. This sold for $19.99, and that came from an auction at one point. You guys know I was winning a bunch of Avon items on, like, tray lots from the auction. So that's where that came from. Uh, next item we have is a vintage... Uh, toy. This was called the Playground Kids. These came out in the 90s. I had purchased like a tub full of these Playground Kids at a yard sale. I think I paid $10 for the whole bin of them and <laughs> I still have a couple more I need to list. This was for a doll and her accessories. Her name was Chrissy and she sold for $39.99. So these toys, I think, are, you know, a little harder to find. I rarely ever come across them as far as, like, vintage toys are concerned. So they definitely do have a following, obviously, and people want to collect them. Uh, next item we have is a Nancy Drew book from 1950. This sold for $19.99. Um, I do believe this also might have come from an auction um potentially in a lot of some books that i had won i sold a laura geller spackle this was a makeup primer that sold for 59 dollars and 99 cents this came from an auction on one of the beauty trays that i had won at an auction and this stuff here 
I don't think they make anymore. I do think it was discontinued, at least in this shade. I think it was called Ethereal um, or something like that. So yeah, I love I love selling beauty stuff. Um, next item we have, Eric won this at an auction. This is some sort of gun reference guide. It's called the Complete Glock Reference Guide. That's over $24.99 and he probably paid about a dollar for it at the auction. I sold a ceramic ashtray. Um, this just, well, it could have been like a trinket dish as well. These types of things you can use for multiple purposes, obviously. Um, so this one had that kind of like atomic style look to it. I thought it was really cute. I found it at a yard sale for, I believe I paid 10 cents for that. And it sold for $19.99. The next two items did go to a subscriber named Sandra. The first thing she purchased was a Victoria's Secret pink dog that sold for $5.99. I had that for a while. At one point, ages ago, I used to kind of collect the Victoria's Secret pink dogs. I pretty much would just pick them up anytime I saw them at yard sales and then I kind of amassed a little bit of a collection. Um, they used to be a little bit more desirable than they are now. I don't think they're as desirable as they used to be, but who knows? Maybe one day they will come back around. She also purchased a Joseph Originals Rabbit, and that sold for $29.99. I don't remember if that came from a yard sale or an auction. Uh, the next item I have is another beauty item. This was for a tightening serum by Pure Face. I sold for $16.99 and also came from an auction. Uh, next item also did as well. This was for a set of Sony in-ear headphones that sold for $19.99. And those did come from an auction. I just got a cha-ching while I'm recording a cha-ching. That is so awesome. I need to make a song out of that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so these actually came with a Walkman um, that we had one at the auction. I don't know why Eric, I think Eric listed these separately because they didn't actually go with the cassette player that they were attached to kind of thing. Uh, next item we have was a Five Nights at Freddy's Foxy Mango, Funtime Foxy Mango plush that sold for $19.99. Um, that also came from an auction, you guys. No, if you watched all my cha-chings, Eric and I had one like trays full of Funko Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. Um, some of them have been selling for lots of money and some aren't worth as much. Um, the exclusive ones are worth way more than just the regular ones. Hold on, we need to see what that cha-ching was. <laughs> okay, it was, I sold, what did I sell? I sold a Armani lipstick for $29.99. I just, I got that at a yard sale for, I think it'd be $2 for it. Um, let's see, next item we have is a kimono. This was by a company called Arata Silent Journey. It had a little fish all over it. It was a kimono. Um, you know, you could use it as like a beach cover up, that kind of thing. I actually picked this up at a flea market and I think I paid $4 for it, I want to say. And that sold for $39.99. Next item to go to a subscriber named Joan. This was for an old West German compact mirror that sold for $19.99. I did get that at a yard sale. And I think I might have paid $5 for that. I sold a little miniature perfume by Christian LaCroix. This was called C.S. La Vie, and that sold for $23.99, and that came from an auction of just a whole bunch of vintage miniature perfumes that I had won. I also sold a Barbie doll. Eric actually picked this up at a yard sale. This was for the Wedgwood Barbie. Um, this was actually selling really, really well. She was still new in her box. She sold for $89.99. Um, and I think he paid $10 for her. So funny story, like, I think it was last week, Eric bought two more Barbies at a yard sale. Um, they're both Marilyn Monroe Barbies, so we haven't listed those yet, but they will be going up soon. 
Um, I also sold a Boyd's Bear uh, treehouse display. We picked this up at a churchyard sale. Um, I'd say maybe we paid five or ten dollars for it. I honestly can't remember because I think it was Eric who actually picked it up. Um, but anyway, that sold for $59.99 and I do believe that particular piece did go out of the country. This next item was a little odd. This was for a set of two. These were vintage wash and curl shampoos. So again, a discontinued beauty item. For the set of two, I sold those for $49.99. I actually got these at an auction. They were on a tray full of just random, filled with like personal hygiene type of items. And I just, I was like, I looked at it. I was like, I've never heard of this shampoo before. I'm going to just look it up just in case. And I'm so glad that I did because I was kind of blown away. So I didn't pay much for that tray at all because no one really, you know, wanted anything. Um, I'd say I paid maybe $3 for the tray that those were on. Um, I sold another beauty item. This was for a Josie Marin Divine Drip Face and Neck Treatment that sold for $45.99. And that also came from an auction on, um, I call them beauty trays because one day at the auction, there was just a boatload of just nice high end skincare items and stuff like that at the auction. And I still have some of it left. Next, we have a Ralph Lauren Romance. This is aftershave gel that sold for $49.99. I got that at a yard sale. I'd say I paid two or three dollars for it. Next, we have a vintage lighted Christmas tree topper. That's over $25.99. That also came from a yard sale, and I'd say I paid $2 for that. This next item did go to a subscriber named Gail. This was for a pewter dragon candle snuffer. I thought this thing was the coolest ever. Um, I'm pretty sure I picked that up at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for it, and that sold for $25.99. Uh, next item was for a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Build-A-Bears. So this was for all four turtles with their weapons. Eric won these at an auction. I say he paid about $40 for them and they sold for $125.99. I sold a pack of Winnie the Pooh rubber stamps for $19.99. Pretty sure Eric picked these up again at the church at a church sale. I think it was the same sale. We got the Boyd's Bear display stand. Um, I'd say he paid a quarter or fifty cents for those. I sold a pack of these were finishing touch replacement heads. They went with a little um, doodad gadget. Um, anyway, they sold for fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and they came on one of those beauty trays from the auction. I sold a fossil wristlet for $19.99 and that probably came from a yard sale and I'd say I paid a dollar for that. Next item Eric picked up, this was for a lot of Beyblades toys and then like the plastic stadium piece. I'm not super familiar with toys nowadays, um, but I think these are kind of like battling toys where like you... Um, push back on like this thing that comes out of it and then they like go around in a ring in these like plastic dome what they call stadiums and just kind of like battle each other out type of thing anyway um he found that at a yard sale and decided to just take a chance on it I think he paid five dollars for all of it and that sold for $39.99 this next item was probably my best cha-ching out of this entire cha-ching. This was for a Majolica, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know I am. Alexa, how do you pronounce M-A-J-O-L-I-C-A? Okay, here's pronunciations. It is pronounced as Majolica. Majolica. Majolica, Michelle. I don't know. I always just want to say Majolica. I think that sounds so much more fun. Anyway, Majolica fish head oyster plate. This sold for $279.99. Um, this did come from an auction and I probably paid $20 or less for it. 
Um, oyster plates can sell really, really well. And this one was just super unique um, with the fact that it had fish heads on it. Um, and when I looked it up, the one prior to that sold for around that price. So I was like, heck yeah. I was so excited about that. Um, next item did go to a subscriber named Mason. This was for one of my Five Nights at Freddy's Funko plushes of Nightmare Cupcake that sold for $59.99 and came from um, the auction. Next item went to um, Joan again. Um, she had purchased the West German compact mirror a little bit ago. Uh, this was for the Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume that sold for $12.99 and also came from a beauty tray at the auction. I sold an Avon mini travel brush that sold for $19.99 and I feel like that came from the auction as well. Same with this next item. This was for like a really awesome heavy duty expensive um, flashlight. This was called the Streamlight Stinger Flashlight. That sold for $99.99. .99. Eric won this at the auction. Um, I don't remember exactly what he paid for it. I want to say $20 to $30 for it. This next item also actually came from the auction. This was for a, pa a three pack of Zest Spring Burst Bar Soap that sold for $19.99 and I paid a dollar. I sold a pair of Birkenstock orange sandals for $59.99. Those came, I do believe, from a yard sale. So I'd say I'd pay maybe $5 for those. Um, next item went to a subscriber, Gail. So I think, yeah, she purchased the Pewter Dragon Candle Snuffer as well as a hand-painted gourd. Um, I, I love gourds. I, I don't know why I love gourds, but like anytime I see like really cute painted gourds, I just have to buy them. I don't know. I am weird. But anyway, uh, that sold for $19.99. I'm pretty sure that came from an auction. Um, next item I have is for a Lush Shower Deli in the Fragrance Beats. Um, this was from my own personal collection of Lush items that sold for $29.99. I just wasn't a big fan of the fragrance. Um, next item went to a subscriber named Jackie. This was for a hoodie by a company called Rising International that sold for $39.99. And I got that at a yard sale. I'd say I paid $5 for that. I sold an Avon Vanilla Soft Musk Perfume for $25.99. That did come from um, the Avon Auction. I'll just call it the Avon Auction. I sold a vintage Valentine's Day card. It had a little astronaut cartoon uh, figure on it. That sold for $9.99. At one point at the auction, I won a bunch of vintage Valentine's Day cards. I still have quite a few left. Um, they have been selling here and there. I'd probably just do better if I lotted them all together and sold them all in one bunch. But I thought it's kind of fun to list them separately just because, you know, someone might have a specific theme when they do like their Valentine's Day decorating where like, you know, this person might have had like a little like astronaut or space theme and that type of thing. So it's just perfect that it was just that one Valentine card. I don't know. That's and I know I've said it before. One of the hardest things for me when it comes to listing stuff is whether or not to list things separately or lock them up with like things. Um, next item we have was five. This was for five mini um, vintage cologne samples. These sold for $16.99. I think these actually came from a yard sale. I don't think that they came from an auction. Or maybe they did. I might have gotten these at an auction a long time ago. I don't remember. Regardless, on to the next. Um, next item we have is a Storybook Knits Leopard Cardigan that sold for $39.99. This did come from a yard sale and I say 
I'd say I paid a dollar or two dollars for it. The next four items did go to a subscriber named Jackie. She purchased a Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon Lotion from me for $49.99. These Bath & Body Works lotions, specifically the purely silk ones, can sell really well because they no longer make them. They were in those really nice frosted glass bottles. Um, I did win those at an auction. I had a couple of them and they all sold. Um, she also purchased a Philosophy Amazing Grace lot. I think this had perfume. Uh, the three-in-one, um, I want to say a body souffle maybe. This also came from an auction that sold for $69.99. Uh, she also purchased a press and dress. This was a cloth paper doll toy that sold for $19.99. That came from a yard sale. And then she also purchased a um, gnomes Halloween mug. They had like the, those cute little gnomes all over, but they were Halloween themed. I actually got that at a yard sale. I think I paid about $2 for that mug. Um, and that sold for $19.99. I am, and I will make mention of this since that was a Halloween item. I am putting all of my Halloween related um, cha-chings into a separate Halloween themes to Ching that I'll do closer to Halloween. I just didn't want to throw that in it because she purchased, you know, a bunch of other stuff for me. So I just left it um, in there. Uh, next item we have is for the complete set of Sugar Creek Amish Mysteries books. Eric purchased these at a yard sale. He paid 10 cents a book and they sold for $209.99. Um, the other day, I think in my last Cha-Ching, I had sold a set and I wasn't sure if I had any more of those books um, available, but I do think I have one more set yet um, that hasn't sold. Um, next we have a Harley Davidson neon clock light that sold for $139.99. Eric actually purchased this at a yard sale. I think he was going to keep it for himself, but then he decided to sell it. Um, and I do believe he paid $10 or $15 for that. I sold a vintage Disney sweatshirt for $43.99. That came from a yard sale and I'd say I paid a dollar for that. Uh, this next item was for a pink swirled glass vase. This was by Teleflora. That sold for $12.99. And I feel like that came from an auction that was just like in a random box lot of stuff. But I thought it was super pretty. So I decided to list it and it did sell. Next item I have went to a subscriber named Lori. This was for a vintage Hilo Hattie Hawaiian shirt that sold for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale. I sold a German wood smoker. This was of a circus trainer that sold for $26.55. Um, that also came from a yard sale and I'd say I paid a dollar for that. And the last thing that I have was for a vintage children's Jimboree little jumper. That's over $31 and I got that at a yard sale and I paid a dollar or less for it. Uh, but that is everything for this specific cha-ching. So our next one will be on 99 and then 100 as far as eBay goes, how eBay has been going. Um pretty good I'd say. I feel like um, just between uh, yesterday and last night, um, so as of this morning, I feel like we have, um, I want to say Erica is downstairs doing like 15 packages or so, which is really good for middle of the week for us. Um, because, you know, typically more sales come at the end of the week and through, you know, the weekend. So it's nice to have a lot of sales through the week as well. And um, yesterday when Eric went to take packages, we're always like joking with the lady at the post office because um, I live in a pretty small town and, you know, our post office is like on the, on the tiny side. Um, so, you know, it's not really ever all that real busy and stuff like that 
Um, and when Eric and I go in with packages, we pretty much fill the entire counter. Um, so, <laughs> you know, we were joking, like, you know, at some point we might have to, like, start scanning our own packages or something like that. But she says, no, no, no. Um, the, the people that work at the post office are so nice. Um, but she definitely said, like, we, we bring in the most packages out of, like, anyone else that, you know, drops off packages that are clearly, you know, eBay packages. Uh, so that was like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know. So I do think we're doing really, really well. Um, you know, the longer we're doing this, and I know I think I just got a question about it the other day, too. Because um, not everyone watches, you know every single one of my videos but someone was asking you know if I'm doing this full-time and if Eric's doing it full-time with me and yes we are um I think I'm on two two years now um going on three years of full-time reselling and I think this will be Eric's first year full-time reselling with me um and you know as as it goes, I think we're doing better and better and better, like, all the time. Um, we're getting better, more quality stuff to resell. Um, I will be, my next video, I think, is going to be an auction video. And the auction we went to was, like, such nice stuff. Like, so super nice quality items. Um, so it's just nice to be able to, um, be able to purchase those types of things to resell. Um, you know, it's just, it's fun, but I also, you know, I will forever and always love going to yard sales and picking stuff up for like a quarter or a dollar and selling them for like so much more because it's just it's so much fun but auctions are really fun too you end up spending more but at times you're getting just much not not necessarily because i find lots of good stuff at yard sales too but you know what i mean it's like really sometimes nice quality stuff from an auction so you know i i enjoy both obviously but um like I said, that'll be my next video. I'm pretty sure it will be an auction video. Um, but yeah, as far as eBay is going, I think it's going great. Um, I have no real issues lately. Um, knock on wood. I always feel like I need to knock on wood when I say that. Um, but yeah, I hope everything's going great with you guys. You'll have to let me know down in the comments. Um, how you're doing even if you don't sell on ebay just let me know how you're doing in the comments um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you're excited for cha ching 100 um and like i said once i do hit the 20,000 subscriber mark here on youtube i will be doing um my giveaway and i want to continue to do those too not just for my 20,000 but you know if i ever get to like 50,000 or something like that like that would be awesome as well but I would like to do them more frequently than just hitting 20,000 um so I have to think about that like while I'm out and about like what to pick up and things like that I know and in like here for this giveaway um most of the stuff is, you know, kind of on the girly side. So, you know, and I do have male subscribers on my channel. Um, definitely more female. Like, if I, if I go in and actually, like, look at, you know, who's watching my videos, it, it will tell me. Um, so it's predominantly female. I just hear that um, watch my videos. But, um, you know, it would be nice to offer something to any like male subscribers so if there's any male subscribers watching right now um what would you like to see in a giveaway that I do um so I, I would like to put something a little more you know other than a purse or a perfume or something like that in in my giveaway just so like you know there's something for them um so that they can you know sell themselves or you know give to a, a fellow lady but um that's pretty much everything. I feel like I'm rambling right now and my video is going to be super long. So I am going to hop off of here, edit this video, drink my coffee, and that's my day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.